guys, welcome back to another episode of this Wales campaign. And well, we're looking to continue where we left off in the last episode. Now, we managed to establish the Principality of the Hubar. Uh, probably still butchering that, but we are now a prince, a Welsh prince in the south of Wales. Now, we are um, surrounded by any potential enemies. We've got uh, my, I think my cousin to the north, my nephew even, yeah, that's it, and my other nephew in the other Principality. Um, looking to potentially expand the land to mine. Well, I would like to expand and take the whole of Wales at some point, but I don't think that's going to be happening anytime soon. Cornwall have expanded to below me, which is quite annoying, and they are a potential enemy, most certainly. But one people I'm really worried about are the Vikings here in Carillion, Carillion even. We're butchering these pronunciations a lot. Part of the Yingling family as well, so that's a very powerful family. But yes, uh, they are going to be hard to take their land from, especially as they are allied to Jarl Barad Iverson of Sufia. Now, my first move, after some deliberation, is to marry off my daughter to my nephew, which is very medieval, kind of, yeah. But what this does is it secures our northern border. Yes, there's a chance for... Yeah, being inbred, chance of children high, however, and I know it will probably only be their second, like a, a minor wife, because insularism means that the world can have many wives. However, it gives us a lot of powerful military alliance with the Principality of Gwynedd. And uh, we, we need all the eyes we can get, because we're going to look to attack the Vikings as well as the Cornish soon. Now we're going to press play, put up to four speed and get this alliance which this does secure our northern border from potential expansion let's put on five speed excellent that is fantastic we have a new alliance yes love that i know that they, they are insular so it doesn't really make too much sense to the role play but this is huge my son my wife princess pleasance is hiding something about our son i am certain of it the furtive glances protecting of Arthas. I do not question the heritage of my son lightly, but the doubt is gnawing at my mind. Now, haven't we already discussed this? And let's have a look. 65% chance. Let's go for it. If he isn't, then that fixes succession, I suppose. But at the moment, I just want to kind of build up my lands. Commander promoted. My martial cover dog has been shown off a promising new recruit. Now, we do need all of the knights. We can get a 17 and a 4-star education. Yes, please. That is what we like to see. How are knights looking? 7 out of 10. I would, I would like to... I will probably at some point try and get some more knights in. However, I do need to build up my lands first. Neighbours were resolved. The Welsh are going into Mercia, and that is horrible. That border goal is absolutely horrible. An unbreakable bargain. Oh, the Dane law has been established. In a bit to solidify their own personal power, it seems King Halfdan and King Ethelred have signed a devilish treaty dividing the realm of England between them. Nordic control of the Dane law and the south is England. Wow. Okay, so Wessex is England, but Mercy isn't. I suppose we can try and no, uh, we're not we're not gonna be able to get an alliance with them, are we? No. Can't get an alliance with them. Well that's pretty scary. The Dane Law as well, they're gonna be hard to displace. But yeah, they've got a lot of men and alliances, yeah, it's gonna be awful. They have land they have land in Brittany as well. Fantastic. But let's just build up. Oh, growing strong. Off this is no longer sickly. Love that. You know, lose the trait sickly. That's good. If he's my son, then that is fantastic. Or well, I might have to disinherit him. So it saves. Succession. Now, how old is my dude? He is 60. In the year 885, that is quite old. I cannot see him living too much longer. Although, I would like him to. Because he has been, he's been a really good character. He's done some good wars. And now we have a stewardship perk available. Gonna go down this. Oh, one thing come out wall. That is very powerful. I've got no vassals, so that doesn't. Don't need to do that. 
let's see amount of income while at war. That can be helpful, but we're not. It's not a passive bonus we're using yet. Not swayed. Okay, he's a little bit though. Now I don't really know who I'm more scared of: Cornwall, um, Half Harold, White Hair, Fair Hair, whatever he's called. Masonic dealings. A guild of stonemasons have established now in the lordship of D Die Fed. Having dedicated craftsmen in my personal service could help the region flourish indeed. Okay, I could I could lose a lot of gold here, I don't really want to. What is this? Ah, oh, I'm for fifty gold it's not really worth it. Twenty years, yeah. Ah, oh, but what does peasant labour give me? Okay, that it's going to be worth 50 gold to just not have that, so let's go. Please don't let me lose all my money. Haven't lost any just yet. Let's have a look. Oh, fantastic. My steward has done a brilliant job. What are like 20% job? It exceeds even my demands. That is fantastic. Control L plus 20. Cooperative stone masons. Huge. Well done, well done to my steward there. Die fed, where is that? Carefidin, I do not know where die fed is. Apparently, I don't know, but it's got a decent stats, so we'll take it. Die fed is here, well, it's a bishopric, which is annoying because I don't have access to that land. So, 160 gold. In terms of looking at our Neighbours, we actually are making up more money than them. Yeah, but only for one plus one, one point one even. How much are you making? Two point eight. We're still making more than you. Oh, my wife is now pregnant. That is fantastic news. Another child to marry for alliances or to become a soldier. I think my next fight is going to be another piece of a piece of um a building in this. Yep, here. Yeah. Oh, and now. <sighs> you have got to be joking. Suppose that is the one problem with being rich is that you attract raiders that I can't possibly hope to get rid of. And now this is going to screw me over economically. Because I don't know where I can first there's much point in raising my troops. Oh, just please go away, half down please, that fiend, I will avenge it, I lose 30, I can afford to develop and growth plus 10, that might almost be worth it, we shall rebuild, it is my capital so, gorgeous capture, oh my, wait was that my wife has been captured, oh. My acquaintance is dead Reese's educator, which means I need to give him another educator. That is my son and heir, yes. Let's uh, educate child. I want to give someone with a good martial education. I only have the one star. Let's give it to Daffid. There we go. Now I've there was a few nights, yeah, 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 I know, I know, I just need to want to make money, but I've got, oh, you know what, let's get my counsellor. It's one problem, like, as soon as I have the amount of men that I can to protect myself, then that will be just fantastic. Can I like, try and ransom my wife? No. Okay, where can I do that from? Hostile, blackmail, yeah, uh, ransom, here we go. What, for 50? For my, I don't really want to do it. For 50, that is a lot of money. That is a lot of money. Is my wife, my wife worth 50? I mean, yes, but I can't afford 50 right now because I'm saving up to actually develop my lands. Might be worth investing in some men at arms, but that's, that's just going to be a passive income that's just going to drop so far. Cradled by death. Oh my goodness. 
Lady Pleasance has died, giving childbirth all in prison. Oh no. I may have just... Oh my goodness, I may have just sacrificed one, my, my, my wife. I need to, I need to, right, I'm going to be trying to release my daughter. 25, it will do it. Gwen, yeah, you'd be called Gwen. Actually, you know, let's call you Pleasance. After your mother. You gave the ultimate sacrifice. There we go. 40 stress. Childbirth, that is not ideal at all. Overwhelmed by stress, oh dear. Reclusive. What does that mean for me? Stewardship, and don't really want to do that. Come, Nestor, no. Bite my lip. You know, let's just do it. So we're at level one right now, and we can try and maybe go on a hunt or have a feast. Oh, we're losing all our money now. Looks like we're going we're gonna to have to. Missing 29, missing 62. Yeah, this is a... But I'm too fair, yeah, that does mean we can get another wife. Now I'm not too bothered about having more children. Alliance power. Okay, this is not ideal. Welsh. Gwen, I don't really want to marry a baby though. So I could look for the trades. Pash down, who's that? County of Ale. Ooh, Saxon, East, well, Essex, East Seax. No, yeah, let's go, let's marry. Oh, Hunchback, nope. Wasn't really want to have a. Another wife, really, but I suppose I should do. Let's have a look at a line. prestige gain. Could be worth it, or just do. I might just do some of all skills. Hey, you're a genius. You're intelligent. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so it's cost a bit of prestige, but we've now got good wives and good stats, which is fantastic. That's what we like to see. This ruler is, oh my, that is fantastic. It's a lot of extra perks. That is great. Now, how is things looking in the treasury? Still, it's gone down a lot. But we're still getting control up in my capital, which is where my buildings are. Being raided was not a good thing. They could fall apart. They're attacking Mercia right now. If they get the whole of Mercia, then that, that's, that could be GG. For Catholicism and Britain compliments. Okay, what personality does he have? Callous, ambitious, and vengeful. It's not, isn't it? Let's go with courage, yeah. Why not? He's got martial education as well. Excellent, fantastic. We like him. You know, let's try and sway Ethelred instead get England to like me, because they might have to be my kind of protector against the Vikings. Oh, we're getting so little amount of money. This is oh, this is horrific. Oh, England are fighting there. Okay. Okay, yeah, we're we're not we're not getting that county anymore. Even though it is Dior ours. So we're just gonna have to go after this Cornish county here. Now he is fifty seven. Who's he allied to? Who is that? Huis. Anglo Sax. He's allied to the Anglo Saxons. That is horrific. We did not want that. Hopefully, that alliance dies with him. Council has finished his task. Let's get you training the boys. I think it's nice. I feel like this episode, we're just going to kind of be building up a little bit more because we're not in a position to try and expand, which is not ideal. Could try and expand into Ireland, but there's there's nowhere really we can go. Just kind of these counties here, maybe even Mercy to be honest. Oh no, you're part of the Dane law. That is horrific. And my wife is pre pregnant. And a councillor has died. Everyone's dying. This is kind of 
not been the best of episodes, but a lot of it has been out of my control. Daffid, yes, you are, should be fantastic. Marshall, you've got quite a good council, to be honest. What about anyone who's actually good? Five. Uh, we'll, we'll put you. You're a little bit better. Yeah, you're five from council, but you're a little bit better. Now, what is happening in England? Who are you at war with, if anyone? Attacking them. You're going to get that. In attacking in the Holy War for Chieftain of Gwen. That is my land. By Dior. We are willing to squeeze. We might end up having to be a vassal of England, to be honest. That might be the, a good thing to do. Oh, I saw them between the Margaret Swords of Care Fidden. So my other words of the local sculpture, my nephew Prince Anna, Anarad suddenly appears on my side. Jewel the store over there. We lose 15. And my friend. That could be huge. Would be good to gain money though. Well, plus 20% almost isn't worth it when you've just got, got nothing coming in. Sculptors, I'm not too far about him becoming my friend, if I'm totally honest. It's 75% though. Holding taxes, only for the holding ta taxes. You know what, I think we're just gonna... No, we'll do it. Come on. Hey, there we go, now we're getting a little bit more money. That's fantastic. But we're still struggling in terms of actually getting money in. I do. I just want to build a trade port. Like, come on. Recently sacked. Come on. I just want to build a trade port, but it's taking ages. We're about halfway there. 150. I'd get that development growth early in the game. And by the late game, that will be. Well, that'll be what is needed. Hergald. Men at arms got any men at, men at arms? With my domain. Okay, this may have been the wrong tree to go down. Stress level could be good. Let's just go down this. We I might get some men at arms, maybe not in this guy's lifetime, but we shall see. Could obviously worth going over to a That's a head of phone for gold, that is fantastic. We will do that most certainly. Hundred gold, beautiful. Who is this? Fornicator, don't care. Right, let's get rid of you. Right. Right. We're all we're trying to sway him with compliments. What does he like? He's diligent, shy, and just. Loyalty and sense of honor, I think just covers that. Skull will heal. Oh, fantastic. Excellent. Okay, let's pause it and let's build that trade port. Is only an extra 0 0.3 per month but we just I just want to make this holding have as much money and get the development growth as well it's just so good to have early game because when you go through the years it just builds up and builds up and I do want to kind of make this my capital holding like make it an economic center for my whole holding and empire almost but yeah let's keep going could look to get some men at arms soon I suppose Afraid have given birth to a perfect little daughter. That is fantastic. Good Welsh name. Madron. Ligi. I'm by butchering that silent. Let's, let's give silent. It's a nice name. And you are got great stats. Wow. Let's uh, educate you. How about in intrigue? Got a good intrigue education, go for it, my man. Now, I have options here. I could look to invest in some men at arms, I could also look to invest in some knights potentially as well. But I do want to try and go after Cornwall and this. Uh, is this Morgan in this county yet? Yeah, Morgan, um, before I die, but I do want to kill him or at least get rid of his. Yeah, 50, ooh, okay, this could be worth it. 
I hope it, no, it really isn't. I'm not, I'm not an entry character. Let's just keep building up for now. Um, we'll probably go after some knights in a little bit. Fine, where have my knights gone? Well, died, I suppose. Yeah, we, we need knights. Let's invest in that. Um, oh, what's this event? Lively livestock. As additional payment in a recent trade, I find myself in possession of a large, large herd of cattle. I have been assured that the animals are of the highest quality, but the question should of what should be done with the remains. Cattle herd, that could be huge. 74%. That could be huge as well. That could be huge. Development growth would be nice, but 50 gold you can't you can't ignore. Yeah, we're doing it. I know that probably isn't too good long term. But we'll, we'll invite knights for now, because we do need knights. We've got, like, none. And it's all well and good having a, an, a knight-heavy build when, you're, when you've got the knights to do it, but I haven't. So, ooh, 20? Yes, please. How much is it going to be? 45 for a single knight. That is, that is disgusting. That is disgusting. And now Sweden have got some land in... Scotland. Mm. Now I'm looking towards Cornwall. I'm thinking we've got Gwynedd, we've got Munster on our side. I mean, they also have Munster, but they also have Huis, which King you know, Duke Athelwine Rhine the Bully. How many men does he have? Only 700. Okay. If we can get Gwynedd to help us, then we might have a chance. Yeah, England have just won. 14, yeah, we'll take it. 30, that is so much. So much, so, so much. What's happening with this tile? Are you still... Oh, you're beating England, you're beating England. How, how? Catholicism really just isn't doing well. It's very little natural... Brilliant strategist, oh fantastic, and holy warrior. That is going to be so good. Now, I think that counts against Insulist as well as Vikings. Reese Abguigan is, that is fantastic. So what is this? Betrothed can marry. Yeah, sure. May not be good for traits, but we'll take it. Now, let's just have a quick look at our son. Look at that, he's got a 16 marshal, that is fantastic. Well, there's being robust and a holy warrior. Yep, so that would be that's a great perk to have because he'd be fighting Vikings as well as the insulists. That is that I'm really happy with that. Well, we are very stressed out though. Can't uh call hunt, I should probably call a hunt for this next one. Oh no, another. Knight Fragan, eight. Well, it's not a dwarf knight. It's not. It's not really worth it, is it? Eight powers who just die straight away, and I need the money. How many knights are we sat on at the moment? Eight out of ten. You know that's pretty good. Making three a turn. I think it's nearly time we go after Morgan. But I think we might want to. What? What kind of? Men at arms do he, oh, seven. Wow, there are so many men. Six hundred light footmen. Okay, a hundred light horsemen. Let's just have a quick look. Uh, what counts as what? What counts as? Got armored footmen. Counts as spearmen, pikemen. Counts as horse bowmen. Counts as skirmishes. Okay, might be worth getting some skirmishes. Yeah, I think we may do that soon. It'll probably be worth it. Oh, let's just do it now. Good amount of extra men to get. Get some really good arches into the fold. Okay, now we are taking away what's happening here. Have they, have they lost yet? 61%, yeah, okay, we've got, we kind of have to give up on that being 
But they have England is siege down. Only making 0.7. I suppose they do have their army raised. Okay, um, I don't, you know what, let's try and sway half down so he doesn't try and raid us, hopefully. I mean, that probably doesn't mean anything, but hopefully that will do something. How, oh, okay, this is an opportunity to try and maybe take some Irish land. Who are you fighting at the moment? They want... Meath wants Dublin and they want Inverness. It might almost be worth going after Leinster. Bit of land to expand. Now we could go after Cornwall as well. And let's wait for our men to build up. But then yeah, I think going after Leinster might be a viable viable thing to do. Although I don't know if we really have enough men to do it, because we'll have to get that team war score, but then when they peace out. They're going to have a whole ton of men, and we'll have a calling Gwynedd and Munster. We might have a good chance. We shall see. Oh, actually, to fair, speaking about it, it makes sense to do it. We, we're going to let... Oh, that small harbour has been done. That is fantastic. We're getting more money in. Yeah, let's get uh, let's get some more men, and then we're going to go after the lines. There. It looks like it's going to be a holy war. Oh, Half Dan has died. That is huge. That is huge. Why is it War of Paris defending? Okay, that is huge. Cheshire. Okay, for power. Paris is getting strong though. They've beat Mercia. Taking Mercian land and they keep going on after it. The Gwynedd are not going to be able to help me. Is there a war with that? That is unlucky. I probably just stay at peace for now. I do have about 900 men. So we shall. Oh! Oh my goodness, I have died of old age. Prince Gwigan of the Hubarth vests in the arms of the Lord at 66. Having mastered many skills at 17 years old. Heading for 25 years. Fought in four wars, wow. Title lost. Is die fed okay? That is a bit annoying. Oh, I'm probably gonna have to go out with. Oh, that is annoying. I might have to. Tr that is. Oh, here's my air. Continue. Now we are playing as my son, uh, Reese the Third Ap Gwigan of the Hubar. Um, we now have to deal with succession and trying to basically not die now, which is even more important. We are going to go strategy focus, yes. Basically, try and copy what I went for. Dad. I'm going to go through this tree first, as it's probably the best tree, and I don't have the knights to really go down the gallant tree too much yet. But the 40% extra education boost is going to be absolutely huge. Now, what I want to do, I mean, I've lost land through succession, so what I want to do is straight away pass law. We're getting that so we can revoke the title of my brother and vassal now you're you're pretty good but i'm sorry man I, i'm i'm gonna need that land right now 20 27 percent i can use a hook i do not have a hook we shall raise armies but it's not gonna work but let's quickly just have a look at our I will you raise arms for us to do that? Keep on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's looking good for me. I'm leading 25. Come on. Is he going to give in or not? Just without your title, man. No choice. Love that, man. Love that. Oh, I'm 1.5 income. 3.3. .3. There we go. Now, what is the control like here? Not great, not great. Okay, it's probably not great everywhere, is it? Okay, just here. Right, we've got an opportunity here to build now. Build on the gains made by our father. Specifically looking down here. Now, I do not have a claim there, do I? Could have gone no, so I need one on Morgan. Ah, oh, but we're only 17. We've got a long life ahead of us. 
What other things do we have? Declare wars, alert, imprison people, don't care, not endorsed by a bishop. But I think what we're going to do is get a claim on Morgan. That is probably going to be our first point of expansion. Now we have got 700 odd men, let's put on 5 speed while we're trying to get through this game. Wow, okay, now do have an alliance with these people, we do not have an alliance with Kavidion anymore. Don't suppose I can get one with a betrothed. Can I invite to court? No. Where is she? She is in my court. Okay. She has the alliance, but not me. That is annoying. At least we've got an alliance with Munster. But we're probably not going to be able to go after Cornwall until either he dies or we get another big alliance. I'm thinking England, maybe. But England are getting there kicked out by Harold Fairhale Vestfold which hopefully he dies soon but he's 41 so that probably won't be the case we are making a good amount of money but yeah we're in quite a weak position especially with Powys going ham how are they Powys Powys doing they are losing which is probably good for me but not good for Christianity on the march this is an exercise to get us uh, a potential perk. Yep, let's let's give it a go. Seventy-five volt, a good amount of gold already. Here, yeah, absolute ruckus coming from the roadside tavern. Don't really want to spend the prestige, but we I could do. Yeah, let's do it. Search continues, so we still can get the perk. If this is the only way, that's. Going into the minuses of prestige already, that is fantastic, but prestige doesn't really. Oh, what's this? Maxson joins my court. Who are you? How good are you? You're alright at fighting. Good diplomat. Yes, please. The march, last my truth. Valuable exercise after all. Already got a martial lifestyle perk. This is great start for my character for this character. We're gonna go down this tree. Cast his belly cost. Minus 50% huge. Now I would like to get in the positives of prestige. So I might let's shall we do a hunt? How much is it? 67, that's so much. Ah, uh, let's just do it. Well, I do need, I need a physician as well. Suppose let's go to my court and find someone from my court to do it. Who have we got as a prisoner? No idea who you are. 16 years. No, I just recruit you into my court. Why not? You've got good learning. I can make you, you know, let's make you make her my court physician, I think. When she gets released, she's low born, but it's 10 for 18 learning. We'll go for it. We've now lost all our money and we're on minus prestige. This is going amazingly. Oh, we lost all our money now. We're getting claim. Ah, can't gain prestige. Lose that. No, I'm going to have to lose more and more. My wife, Princess Finit, Nick, whatever. Pregnant the sun would be huge for succession. Wait, wait, wait. Who is this coming to my shores? There are people who are wanting to come and raid. So we shall try and fight them off. They're probably Vikings. Here we go. Here we go. Plus 48. Come on. Leading our first battle against heathens. Wait, let's quickly just. We're winning. That is fantastic. There we go. Enemy knight. We've just won. That's brilliant. Lost 111, but killed a load of them. Got a prestige and piety from that. Knights, what happened? Anything happened? The enemy knight killed a lot of our soldiers because we have no knights. You're, what knights I have got are pretty good, to be fair. Ah, oh, now let's. Oh, who is my? 
I do want to try and uh, marry off you. So, oh no, you've got him. How good a fighting are you? Right to court, you will not accept. That may be something I look to do soon. I can't go raid in as I am a Catholic nation. But you can go away. I don't know, put going that way. Just want to disband you and get my money. There we go, that was a good battle that we just won. We're still broke. But we have prestige. And we're going to be even more broke. Oh, what's happening? Join me in the monster conquest of the Earldom of Ennis. Okay, I think we may as well. We've got 1,700 men. I'll accept because I don't want to... I, I can't afford to go to war, really. Like, if they lose, they lose. I might turn up at some point, but I haven't got the money to at the moment. Although I do need them to survive, really. Wait, is this an offensive or a defensive war? The monster is an offensive war. So that means you should have the men to be able to deal with it. Even though they've got way more men. What is what is the logic here? Just siege down in this, please. Oh. They, if they go and get clapped, oh. Come on, if you can defend against them. See it done, 78. It might just be worth it. Take the hit now. Yes, we shall take the hit now. Ah, but we're not, we're not, we can't do anything. Oh, there we go, Cornwall are involved as well. Yeah, we're not going to get involved in that. If we've got both Cornwall and Munster. And on five speed. Caesar's triumph. While studying the tactics of the ancient generals, I was amused to learn about Julius Caesar exploits during his conquest of Gaul. See the famous siege of Elysia, yes. Military engineer could be good, but I'm getting the unyielding defender. We need all the men we can get, especially in long campaigns. So let's get that perk, another perk, that is fantastic. Now, does this mean I can ally myself with you? That means we are allied. Yes, fantastic. That is huge. We're going to go after Cornwall. That is, that is massive. My newborn son. I have a son. Wow, that is amazing. Math, I don't call him math. No, I just call him after myself. I'm Reese, aren't I? Yes, let's call him Reese. Let's keep the line going. Reese the fourth. That is how you spell it, yes. I shall educate him myself. Has he got a good perk? No, he hasn't. Oh. Educate child myself. Yes. So I think now we've got a claim on Morgan. We just want to get into the green on money. Get a little bit more. Oh, just going for Fantastic. We're now into the green. That is amazing. Then we'll just get a little bit of money, set up a little bit, and then we should go and try and take Morgan. We're in quite a strong position here. Got a good amount of prestige. We do need some more knights, I suppose. I've got six out of six, though, which is always nice to have. Chieftain Harold won against... Ah, oh, that is also very annoying. England are kind of a bit weak. Oh, what's happening here? This could be a possible uh, site of expansion, but yes, I think we're going to leave it there for today. It's been a very productive episode, we've got a lot done, got a lot done even though we haven't expanded. We survived the succession just about, and there's definitely places that we can expand. We've made alliances, we've survived. So yeah, that's it for today. Thank you for watching.